Is Tory Lanez really recording from prison? <laughs> Let's get into this. All right. So if you watch my last video, I presented two different theories on how I think Tory Lanez is recording from prison, right? The first theory is that he has a cell phone of some kind and he's like recording using headphones. The second theory is that he's actually using pre-recorded songs. Okay, now a bunch of you in the comments seem to think that is AI. And that's like the last thing on my list. I want you guys to just forget that that's an option because I, I think a lot of you guys don't know how AI works. And I don't think you guys know a lot about how music creation works, especially from a jail in, on the jail phone. I just don't think AI is an option. So just forget about that. Right. So now I'm leaning more into the idea that he's dropping pre-recorded songs. Stay with me. OK, so I was in the gym working out, put on that free Tory playlist. And to my surprise, there was new songs on there. So there was two new songs. Know what you need and shots come for free. And let me say, this nigga has not missed yet. He has not missed a step. So that makes it even more, it makes me more reluctant to believe that he's dropping this quality of music from jail. Like, how are you singing your heart out and rapping your lungs out like that from a jail phone with niggas around you and shit? I just don't see that happening. And then if that's the case, how come other niggas, I feel like other LA niggas would be doing the same shit. If niggas are in LA doing that, they would be doing the same shit. Dropping their songs from a jail cell the same way that Tory's doing it because they see how he was able to make it happen, right? And don't get it twisted. I know what you're thinking. I know as soon as you heard the song, Shots Come For Free, and you heard the man say, fuck whoever sent you and the boys that go against me. I've been in this for 10 years. It's like I'm signing for a century. I know as soon as you heard him mention 10 years at all, and he's doing 10 years, you're just like, nah, this nigga's rapping this from a jail cell. And I thought the same thing. My heart kind of stopped. I'm just like, damn, like this man's actually recording from jail. But then I had to slow down. I had to think. I had to use some critical thinking skills for a second. Okay. So, is that a... F Sorry, I live in the hood. Okay, anyways, I had to use some critical thinking skills, right? And if you think about it from the perspective of it already being pre-recorded and him saying that I've been in this for 10 years, it's like I'm signing for a century. It's like it's almost been 10 years since he originally signed a record deal. And I'm pretty sure the line after that he's talking about, I'm going to re-up with you bitches 100 times now. Da, 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 da. So my theory is that Tory Lanez recorded these songs or definitely this song around the time when he was awaiting trial. And I think it was a complete coincidence that he mentioned the I've been in this for 10 years because I think that he was talking about him signing to Interscope, Interscope Records around like what, 2014, 2015 or something like that. Okay, now the second thing that happened, which further makes me believe that he's dropping pre-recorded songs, is that he blanked out a line. There was a line, If everybody must have noticed if you listen to Shots Come For Free, you must have noticed the line when he's just like, I'm facing something something right now, but all y'all niggas that heard was silent. He blanked out the words of what he said, and what I think he said is, I'm facing 22 years right now, but all y'all niggas that heard was silent. Because that's how much he was facing. That was the maximum that he was facing. And it kind of fits into the blank, right? Tell me if I'm tripping or not. But I think he was saying he was facing 22 years right now. And the reason that they blanked it out is because it contradicts the fact that he knows that he's already doing 10 years. So they had to blank out that line so it doesn't make people confused, right? And I feel like if you went out of the way to do that edit for the song, because there's nothing that could have said that he could have said there that I feel like was really incriminating that could affect his case right now or anything. So I don't know why he would blank that part out. Like, tell me what you think about that. Am I tripping? But if Tory is really making songs from prison, like he claims that he is, this is what I'm going to need to really believe it. Okay. I think Tory is going to have to rap about his experience in prison. He needs to either incorporate somebody in the jail. I don't know. He needs to do something to make us really, really like the man needs to pull an Akon. The man needs to make a song like Locked Up. Because uh, I know when he was waiting trial, he was so confident. He didn't want to manifest that shit. He didn't manifest want to man manifest the negativity that I'll be surprised if he drops a song that's from the perspective of him in jail. Because like, what if, wait, wait, what if he actually like thought about that before? And he's just like, oh, I'm going to make a song from the perspective of me being in jail before I'm in jail. But I'm going too deep down the rabbit hole. But if we keep it to where I was thinking originally... I think Tory really needs to pull an Akon. 
The man needs to drop the hardest song from jail about jail or prison, whatever it is. Who cares? But I think that that's what he, I think that that's the thing that's going to really put me over the edge. Pause. No diddy. But anyways, Tory Lanez is rapping like he's on road. The man is rapping like he's outside, outside. The things, the subject matter of the things that he's rapping about is kind of interesting because, like, he's rapping like he's not in jail, but I guess, like, to be entertaining and rap the way he's used to rapping, that's how he has to rap, right? Or the man recorded this when he was actually outside. That's why it sounds like he was outside. Makes sense to me. But either way, I'm happy we're getting blessed with great music. And you could tell me about what you think about my theory and my thoughts below if you guys still think it's ai or not or if you guys think that it's he's recording this on band lab or whatever you guys are saying but anyways don't get mad at me for my opinion because don't forget it's my opinion not yours peace